everybody, it's Christina from Christina's Crafts and I am going to show you how to make this Dollar Tree Valentine's Decor. Okay everybody, um, this is what I think I'm going to use. Um, I have this idea in my head so I'm not 100% sure exactly what's going to happen or how it's going to look but so far my plans are I have yarn, um, Big Twist yarn I got from Joann's that I'm going to be using and my pom-pom maker. Um, I'm going to try to incorporate these heart lights that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, so actually, I already put the batteries in here. And then I have these little foam heart picks that I got from Dollar Tree. I bought this gift bag from Dollar Tree. And this I also got from Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to need some heavier duty cardboard. So that's going to have to get cut out. That's going to go on the back of my heart. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to take this all apart. So this actually just there's a clip on here. And you should just be able to pull it off. I got the other side off but unfortunately I broke, broke the arrow here. But I could probably just hot glue that back together if I decide to use it. So let's see if I can get this end off. It's just a clip that goes over the plastic. I'm trying not to break the arrow, but there we go. All right, I had to go get my um, wire scissors so I didn't wreck my scissors because this is actually held on by a wire with this, this stuff around it. So I just kind of dug my hands in there and I found the wire and now I am unraveling this. So I'm going to get this whole thing off so that I just have this plastic left. Okay, after getting a, a little bit of finagling trying to get that off, um, this is what you're left with. And I see that there are two big prong things right here that kind of stick out. So I'm actually going to snip those off with my wire cutter. I'm not going to take all these little ones off because those are actually going to be covered up by the pom-poms. So you're not going to see those anyways. But these are going to stick out way too far. Okay, got that off of there. Then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my cardboard box. And I am just going to trace the heart out. So this is going to be my background. And I am just going to use a pen and go around it. And then I am going to use my X-Acto knife to cut it out. All right, I got my heart trace. Then I am going to grab my cutting mat and put that underneath here and my X-Acto knife. And then I am just going to <clears throat> cut my heart out right on the line here. All the way around. There we go. Actually, I think I'm going to take this little guy off here. I'm going to use something else to hang it up with. Alright, so here we have the base of the heart right here. Holding it on there. And then next I'm going to do is I am going to use that. And I am going to cut out my shopping bag. Now, as you can see, this is a little bit bigger, but hopefully the pom-poms are going to fill it in. We'll find a way to fill the rest of it in. So, because it's actually all we're going to need is the inside. See, there's going to be just a little gap here and a little gap up on top, but that'll all be covered up. So, we're just going to measure about like this. Just kind of center this and then maybe up just a little bit more and then I'm just 
going to trans that out. A little hard to do over the glitter. All right, then I'm going to cut that out. All right, I'm getting my heart cut out here. I tried to find a gift bag or shopping bag, whatever you want to call it, a gift bag big enough to fit the heart, but none of them did. So this is what I ended up with. All right, so then this is going to go on here like so. See, we got, we just kind of cut this a little bit. We only got this little corner here that's going to stick out. And once we get the pom-poms on here, you shouldn't see the edges anyway. And then this is going to go on here like this. Like that. Um, we do have the little holes up here, but we'll figure that out later how we're going to cover that up, I think. Or I could just take... Some of this red ribbon that I have and just stick it behind here. I mean, that'll help fill it in. Okay, I think I decided what I'm going to do with my lights. They don't reach around the full heart, so I'm actually going to, I, I didn't grab it right now, but um, I'm going to grab some Velcro and stay, to stick my battery pack on here, and I'm just going to um, cut holes into my cardboard. I'm not going to cut into this yet I just want to see I want to kind of arrange my lights where I want them so I'm just gonna cut a little X here and then what you do is you just pull this heart off of here I'll just turn these lights on so maybe you can see it a little bit better and then I am going to poke the lights through the holes. Like this. And then I am going to put my heart back on. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue them on here. Obviously, this is too low because I'm going to have this on here. So I'm actually going to have to cut the hole up higher. So right now, I'm just going to try to arrange these lights. So probably go up a little bit farther. I got to remember I'm going to have the pom-poms going around. So... So I have my first heart in here. I think that's probably a pretty good distance. So the next one, I'm just going to kind of pull it and see how far I can go here. Which is probably going to be, and I want it far enough away, so it's probably going to be right about here, I'm thinking. Probably should have velcroed my battery pack on here right away to get it out of my out of my way. Alright, well it's a little bit tight, but like I said, I'm gonna hot glue these down anyways, so they're gonna stick tight to the paper. All right, I have all my lights on. Um, they ended up not being quite as long as I thought they were going to be. So I only have two on this side as opposed to the three over on that side. But honestly, I don't think it looks that bad. I think I'm just going to go with it. So I am going to actually take all of these back off.
and then I am going to pull the lights out and I am going to set my paper down and then poke the holes through them. Okay, I have my paper on here. About as good as it's gonna get. I'm gonna go right about here, I think. All right, and then I'm just gonna push it over. Make sure I get this better. You're not gonna see the edges anyways once I put the pom-poms on, but. All right, and then I am just going to poke little holes where my holes already are. paper. I didn't want big huge holes in the paper so I just tried to make little slits. So let's see how this goes through here. Paper ripped a little bit. There. I could probably, if I wanted to, kind of glue that down so it's not, doesn't look quite as bad. It's kind of hard to poke the lights through the paper without wrecking it. Hurts back on here. So I don't know. Now I, I, I don't think maybe I'm going to hot glue them down. I think that they're going to look okay just kind of sticking up like that. Velcro here. So I am going to attach my box on here real quick. And then make sure you leave this end open so you can replace the batteries. You want to put it on the back side. All right. There. Battery pack intact. Like I lost one of my hearts again. All right, then I'm just going to put some hot glue around the edges of the heart to hold the paper down, or the bag, I should say. I don't really want any lumps or anything in the middle, so I'm just thinking I'm going to stick to the outer edges here. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and go all the way around with the hot glue. 
Okay, so I took a little bit of ribbon and just stuck it up in here. I probably should have just cut this open and stuck it in there because there's little holes sticking out, but I just used the tie that was on the hanger that came with it. So then the next thing, I have this all glued on. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use this. Um, as I was doing it, I realized I probably didn't need this part of it. Really, all I needed it was to cut the heart shape out, but I'm actually, I, I am going to use this. I'm going to put this back on. It'll add a little bit more stability to the whole thing, you know, because it's just cardboard. Plus, it has the little plastic hanger thing on top here. So, I am going to hot glue this onto here. And then the next part is going to be making the pom-poms. So I'm just gluing this around. Okay, I have it all glued on, ready to go. The next thing is gonna to be to make the pom-poms. Now, I had a bigger pom-pom banker and I used it and I don't think I think that they're too big. So I actually grabbed my smaller size one. This is the smallest one that I have and I'm gonna I'm gonna try using this one. So um, I did have another video where I showed you how to make the pom-poms. Um, I'm just gonna show you real quick how to make one again. I don't know that I like the multicolor. I think I'm, I have red um, white and pink. I think I might just do that and alternate them around. I don't know that I really like the multicolor ones. So I think I'm just going to stick with one color at a time. So to make a pom-pom, you just open your little pom-pom maker up, put the two ends together, and then just hold this one end on here and start wrapping around. So if you want a nice full pom-pom, you really want to fill this up. Otherwise, even this one, I, I thought I wrapped tight enough, but it's not really completely poofy. But if depending on how many times you wrap the yarn around here is going to decide how, I guess, tight your pom-pom is, how full it is. So I'm just going to wrap it around there a couple layers. And then you just close this end and then you just continue on with the other side like this. Sometimes I like to just kind of push the yarn down too on the one side. And then we wrap. So you just wrap, 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 wrap. They're actually not very much fun to make. <laughs> I made a pom-pom Christmas tree. I don't know if you saw that video. That actually turned out really super cute. I love that. All right. And then you just close it up, snip the end off, and then you just go right up the sides here and cut it, both sides. And then you just grab another piece of yarn and then you wrap it around here like this. And then you tie. I like to tie it once on that end, pull, pull really tight. Um, you can break the yarn by pulling, pulling too tight, just so you know. Wrap it. And then I like to tie it a couple more times just to make sure that it's gonna stay. Double knot it, triple knot it. Okay, then you just pull your ends out like this right here. And pull your pom-pom apart and then you just have to cut down all the little extra stringies hanging off and there you have your pom-pom so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna have to make quite a few of these to go all the way around here but oh I think that's gonna be a good size you see I missed a little little thingy there too so I'm just gonna alternate I'm gonna make pink white and red and I'm gonna make enough to go all the way around the complete part. So it's gonna be all the way around. So I am gonna go
go ahead and do that. That's probably going to take me about an hour, maybe longer. So once I get those all done, I will start gluing them on and we'll see how it's turning out. Okay, I am back and I have all my pom-poms made. So I am going to start gluing them onto my, my project. So basically all I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to find the flat spot on the pom-pom right there where the string is. Put some glue on there and glue it right to my plastic here. And I'm just going to go around alternating. Um, every once in a while you'll see a little straggler there. Alternating my colors. I got red, pink, and white that I am putting on there. I'm not putting them like super close tight together because it took me probably a good hour and a half to make these pom-poms. <laughs> it takes quite a while. So I'm going to go ahead and keep gluing around. All right, I'm about halfway around. Um, I'm trying to make sure that I stick these in a little bit farther because you don't want to lose the shape of the heart. So again, what I'm doing is I'm just finding <clears throat> where I tied that string around right there. And I'm just putting a dab of hot glue in there and just gluing it right to my form here, my plastic and somewhat the, the paper too. Right, I have all my pom-poms glued on. That's what it looks like with the lights on. All right. Um, I got these heart picks from Dollar Tree. And I think I'm just going to stick a couple of these on here. Uh, see if these sticks pull out. Oh, yeah. They pull out really easy. I'll probably save these for another project. And then I'm just going to... Just kind of put them on here, see a little bit where they'll look good. Maybe up there. And kind of in the middle. A little bit there. Probably just like that. Maybe this one down a little bit farther. In there. Just to add a little something else to it. Then I'm just going to take some hot glue and stick it on there. Alright, I got my hearts on. Then the last thing that I'm going to do is I need to put something on there to hang it. So I think I am going to just get a piece of this ribbon and put it on there. Alright, so I just cut some of this ribbon here and then I'm just going to tie a knot at the top. Easier said than done. I also got this ribbon at the Dollar Tree too. So, so far everything from my project except for the yarn was from Dollar Tree. All right, so just a little knot like that. And then I'm just gonna flip that down there so it'll hang like that. All right. And there we go. It's all finished.
and turn the lights on. Try to get it, the whole thing in there. And that is my project. Um, I guess you just call it Valentine's Day Core. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspires you to make your own Valentine's stuff. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care.